Another view looks at the mean squared error. We are looking to get our best estimator for uh, the data that we have. And how we do this, we try to minimize the mean squared error between um, the actual data points and, uh, um, and our estimated points. Okay, and there are two approaches to do this. One approach is that we, <laughs> we are looking for a best linear estimator. And by linear, we mean linear in terms of the y's. Yeah, so we want an estimator for our new points, for the points that we do not know, to be some weighted combinations of the y's that we do know. Okay, so we can uh, write it like this for a single point or in matrix form like this for a, a whole lot of point. And we want to minimize the MSC. So we are looking for the weights, the best way that minimize this quantity over here. Okay, if we open this for one point, for one point, it will be uh, this expression over here. If we take the expectation over these, over the y's, then the expectation over the y's, we can just denote it, it will be a covariance matrix, yeah? So, uh, and again, we assume that the mean of the y is zero. So this will, this will be a covariance matrix and uh, we can denote it as k. And if we take now the expectation of the vector of points that we already have times a new point, then what we will get is a covariance vector, which e where each element is the covariance of uh, the point that we know and the point that uh, we don't know. And we can denote this by k star. And uh, yeah, we will get uh, the expectation of y star squared is just sigma squared because again, the mean is zero. Okay, and now we want to find the minimal um, lambda that minimizes uh, this MSE. So we differentiate with regards to lambda, we get this expression over here and lambda turns out to be K minus one K star. And so what will be our uh, estimate for the new point? It will just be uh, Y transpose yeah, times this, uh, uh, it will just be Y transpose times uh, the estimator that we found before. And this is a vector, so we can also transpose this and we will get this expression over here. Looks very familiar, doesn't it? Okay, and this was just for one observation, but we can also do this for uh, a vector of new observation. Okay, we will have different weights for each uh, observation. So now our weights uh, won't be a vector, it will be a matrix. Okay, and uh, we will again, we will do the MSC, we will calculate it. And here for the sake of simplicity, let's say we first differentiate it. Uh, and if we differentiate it with regards to a matrix, then by matrix calculus, we will get this expression over here. And uh, uh, if we compare it to zero, we will get this thing over here. And let's say that only now we take the expect expected value and expected value of Y, Y transpose is again, the covariance matrix of K and of Y transpose, I'm sorry, of the vector now of Y uh, star, vector of new points that we want to find their values and uh, Y transpose the vector of uh, points that we already know. This will also give us a matrix and we will denote this matrix by K star. So we will get that uh, our big lambda is just the matrix, which is k star times k minus one. And now our expected value is k star k minus one y. So again, exactly the same uh, structure as we've seen before. Another way to go through this is through SVD, the SVD decomposition. So uh, in linear regression, we know that the solution for the coefficient is just this uh, expression over here. And now I want to decompose x via SVD. So x will be some uh, U matrix, which will be um, N over N, and S matrix, which will be N over P with um, a singular values in the uh, diagonal, and a V matrix, which will be P times P. Okay, and um, the U and V matrix are orthogonal, yeah? So U transpose U is I, is the identity matrix. V transpose V is also the identity matrix. And okay, now I want to put 
this thing in the expression here. So I just put it and I get this expression over here. Okay, the u here uh, cancel. Uh, I will call s transpose s s squared for um, short. We get this expression over here. Okay, now if we invert this matrix, the inversion of this matrix will just be V S squared minus one, V transpose, uh, supposing that all of these matrix are invertible and they are, they should be because V is invertible and uh, S squared is now also invertible. We will get this expression over here. Okay, and here also the Vs will cancel and we will be left with this expression over here. Now, I want to add something here before, be, between the V and the uh, rest of the terms here. What I want to add is just S transpose, U transpose, U, S. Okay, so the U transpose U will cancel. The S transpose S, I, want, I need to cancel them. So I will just multiply it by S uh, squared minus one, the invert of it. So I get this expression over here. And why do I get, why do I want to do this? Well, because this thing over here is just X transpose and this thing, over here, I will just call it B, okay? I will just call it B. Okay, and now I want to minimize the MSE, okay? Uh, just like before, only now I don't care about the betas. I want, I care about the Bs. I want to minimize it by some unknown quantity that I don't know what it is, uh, which I denoted by B, okay? So Y at X is just X times beta hat, which is, we just saw that the beta hat can be written as X transpose times B, but we don't know what B is. So we minimize the uh, mean squared error, okay? And we get that, and technically this is the squared error, but it doesn't matter because minimizing the squared error is, uh, the, the result will be exactly like minimizing the mean squared error. Yeah, we, the division by N doesn't matter. Okay, when we open this, we get this thing over here. When we differentiate by a B, we get this expression over here. We equate it to zero. And now let's denote X, X transpose as K. And we get K times K times B equal K times Y. Okay, so B is equal to K minus one Y. And again, the uh, um, estimated value for new points will be X star, the new point times beta hat, uh, but beta hat we saw is just X transpose B and B we just estimated to be K minus one Y. So it's equal to this thing over here. Now let's denote this thing as K star. And again, we get that K at uh, the same form as before, which is K star times K minus one times Y. So as you saw, there's a lot of different ways to get to the same equations. 